um, we were disappointed with the issue of that press release using the Maya Leaders Alliance. The Maya Leaders Alliance is an umbrella organization. Um, it was formed way back in 2000. There are organizations such as the Kekti Council of Belize, TMCC, which is the Toledo Maya Cultural Council, the Toledo Maya Women Council, and also DAVCO, um, and also includes the Toledo Alcalde Association. So all of these Mayan organizations create, created and they form part of the MLA. Um, recently, well, not recently, but um, you know, much later, that team joined, and later on, the Polyantra Society. We have not had any kind of discussion as a group to say what our position is. Um, and as Mayan organization who form part of the MLA, we try to reach out to the different entities because these are issues that affect our Mayan communities. Um, and what we found was a lot of our communities do not know or they are not aware about what is happening. And now I just find it a bit sad that today they're able to mobilize. I don't know who these people are, but they cannot mobilize to educate the people about what is happening in their name. They cannot go and educate on what is happening with the free prior and informed consent protocol. Some communities have said, you know, we have seen them once. They came for a consent, which did not happen in line with the international standard of consultation. Let us try to divide the work in a way that at the end of the day, these 41 communities that we say we represent are really represented and not just the leaders, because you cannot replace community decision with that of alcaldes. Alcalde airs the eyes of communities, but they do not make decisions for communities. These things need to be discussed at the community level. So I don't understand why it is that these alcaldes are encouraged to make decisions on behalf of their community without their community's consent. And that is why a lot of communities are in the dark. They don't know what is happening.